may involve Democrats as well. I've seen that some Republicans have suggested perhaps putting forward a moderate Republican as a challenger to Kevin McCarthy, hoping to draw Democratic votes. Any chance that Democrats will cooperate with that? Well, we have to organize on our side uh, and be prepared to hit the ground running on January 3rd. They have to organize on their side, and we'll see what happens. But So it's a possibility? I wouldn't say that it's a possibility. Right now, Democrats uh, are preparing to get ourselves ready as we transition temporarily from the majority uh, into the minority, continuing to work with the Biden administration, with Democrats in the Senate, building upon the great work led by Speaker Pelosi uh, and Steny Hoare and Jim Clyburn that has been done over the last uh, few Congresses when we've been in the majority. And then let's see what happens on the other well, side that, of the aisle. Well, that, but that's only part of it. I'm going to press this one more time because this, you talk about your main mission is finding a way to have bipartisan compromise. If somehow Democrats and Republicans can come together to elect a Republican speaker who's willing to compromise, wouldn't that be good for Democrats? Wouldn't that advance your mission? Well, I think the question right now is what are the Republicans going to do? From our standpoint, we know what our mission is. Fight for lower costs, fight for better paying jobs, fight for safer communities, defend democracy, fight for reproductive freedom, put the public interest first and ensure economic opportunity in every single corner of America. The question on the other side of the aisle is, what will the Republicans do? Are they going to double and triple down on the extremism that we've seen from people like Marjorie Taylor Greene? That would be unfortunate. And if that happens, then there's not going to be real meaningful opportunity. But if they don't, the door may be open? Well, let's see. David Joyce uh, is a colleague of mine. We've actually worked together on legislation, introduced the PREPARE Act uh, to prepare the federal government to move toward the legalization of cannabis, which state after state, blue states and red states and purple states all across America are doing. There is opportunity for common ground. I've worked with the Trump administration in the past on criminal justice reform. We've worked on uh, trade agreements, particularly with respect to the U.S.-Mexico-Canada trade agreement. And in fact, as you know, at least in the Senate, Gun safety legislation that we passed for the first time in 30 years, that was bipartisan. The Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, bipartisan. The Chips and Science Act, where we're working to bring domestic manufacturing jobs back home to the United States of America, that was bipartisan as well. These are foundational things that hopefully we can build upon as we look to the future. 